Hello and welcome to my 56th Doom Master podcast. Uh, today I'm going to have uh, my uh, read Japanese cards 6. Uh, and um, this is going to be a long podcast, so um, you should, if you're going to watch it now, just pause it and uh, get something to drink. I don't care what you drink, just uh, soda, water, beer. Whatever you like, iced tea maybe. Just find something to drink because this is going to be a long podcast. Okay. Um, the first card uh, I'm going to show you now is an English card because I'm going to explain something to you. You see this? This is Roman letters. They are phonetic language. You can easily read this because uh, uh, it's it's phonetic and. Um, and they are easy to understand, like uh, this is a uh, slumber shell. Uh, and yeah, and indeed, the same thing in Japanese too, you see. Uh, here, there is katakana, a whole lot of uh, katakana that also phonetic, just uh, they, are, they are bigger than, um, than uh, the Roman letters. But the problem here. And the Japanese cards, so uh, the most of the Japanese cards have more than just phonetic language. It's called kanji. Uh, to explain what kanji is, it's um, Chinese characters. I'm not expecting you to learn every single thing I teach you today. Uh, the only thing you are going to learn is uh, how they are used. So I need to explain a whole lot to you about that. Um, you see here, uh, the first two you see there, those are kanji and the rest of it is uh, katakana and there's a whole lot more to do this uh, this is uh, shiryu uh, waruto uh, I don't know the name in um, in um, uh, in English however, it's something about the dragon as I can read uh, but now I'll uh, teach you more about um, uh, how uh, Kanjis are written and uh, when you use other characters and so on. Kanjis are symbols that describe words, an object or something. But it could also be um, be uh, um, like uh, it could also be verbs, uh, as you can see. This. This is the easiest kanji ever. Look at this. Ichi. It's one, right? But that's... That seems easy, right? Uh, ichi, that means one. But they have more ways to be written. It could be hito, it could be i, and a whole lot more. And it looks easy here. Um, but you like... I have seen more complicated than that. Yes, there is. Um, but this is the easiest one, and it's like building on each other. Uh, I'll show you. Um, next uh, here, um, the next one here is it looks like Edo, the um, Edo uh, from uh, Katakana. Uh, you like make one easy box. That's Kuchi. It means mouth. This. This is like one thing. Uh, see here. If I do this, and I take a stroke in the middle, and close it there, then it becomes sun. He. It could also mean day, and, and so on. But it's, uh, there are more ways to be written. There's just a few who have uh, just uh, one way to be written, actually. And there's more that could be built on. You can, like, uh, take... Um, me, it means I. Next one is uh, uh, ten or den, it means rice field. It looks like a window, but it's a rice field. And um, there's also, it could also uh, be combinated more ways, like uh, this. This is the uh, kanji for goods, actually. So they can be uh, put together by more than one way. And uh, yeah, that's uh, almost uh, the basic there. And um, 
And there's more than just uh, just one radical here. We have like a hito. Uh, this is person. Um, and uh, you can build on this. So if you like uh, put a person with a stroke on it, it becomes big. Or or if you put um, more after it, it becomes oh, okay. That's actually big. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I I show you it later. And um, if we do something like this, first pointing across and then uh, complete uh, rest of what's under this one, it becomes three, like a tree. Uh, and there's also more ways to write uh, with threes. Like we have um, um, this thing here, put two next to each other, unless that this one is not um, that uh, big uh, as this one. Uh, this is the same. This is the same symbol. It means uh, wood. Yes. And if you got forest, then you put a big tree back, a bit smaller one under there, and one with the same size. So you have this part here, go in there and extra and at the top there and that's 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 forest. Yes. And um uh that's how it works th this way. But you can also um also use um the tree radical to more than that. Like here we have um this is hon, it means book. And it generally means book. It could also be motto, which means origin. That's two meaning in one. So that's um, that's the first meaning there. And there's a whole lot more ways that I'm going to show you now. By how you can put them together to get other meanings. Because when people think uh, about um, my Chinese characters, they think the same thing as it is with uh, the Egyptic um, hieroglyphs. Which it's not the same thing. Like we take uh, two we have already had ha about. This is sun, and you put book. Then you might think sun book. Well, yeah, actually, it means Japan. Nihon. This is Nihon. It means Japan. Uh, it's not two words, uh, but it's one word. It's, and it means Japan. There's a whole lot more uh, ways to um, you do the same. Like see, here we have the sun. And you can put it together to something else. Then, there. And uh, yeah. Here we have sun and a temple in the same syllable. Uh, and then you put another character here. There. Now we have Jikan. This means time. And see, you have the sun coming again, so it's commonly used, the sun, actually. And uh, there is also more ways, like easier uh, characters. Like, uh, I think I had the stroke all wrong here. Anyway, uh, we have the kanji for small and girl is little girl. Easy? Yes, it is. Um, you can also use other ways by explaining this. I think it's like um, I think this is right stroke order. I don't know, and and um, then you put another character after this one. And okay, this is wrong stroke order. Sorry, um, and you can also put another uh, character after that, and it's not. Not a problem, really. Um, there and there. Uh, this is uh, uh, dekigoto. Uh, dekigoto, it means an event or uh, happening. So you can put more than two. You can put a whole lot more in uh, one um, one um, word, but it's not that that common. So that was that work works, and uh, now I'm going to t uh, talk about the, the verbs. Like, how do you? Oh, sorry. How do you use verbs in uh, Japanese? Verbs is more left out in Japanese than than they are in English.
common like to say. Uh, the most common verb is suru. This is only written in uh, hiragana. Su, ru, ru is used a whole lot at the end of um, of it. Suru, it's to do. To, do, yes. Like you're doing something or to something. Uh, and um, if you want to see like uh, like um, to um, uh, to cut uh, kiru, uh, this uh, this is the okay. I give you the right, the correct stroke order now. There, ku and ru to cut. This is to cut, and then you use the ru, which is a hiragana letter. And um, like uh, entering is uh, this is opposite of the uh, person which I told you earlier. Uh, this is hai and then you add ru, hairu. It's to uh, enter. Hairu is to enter, and um, you see use the ru a whole lot here, but you can also use others. Uh, like um, yeah. Uh, this word here. This is one word that you don't have the whole spelling of the next one. Uh, here, this is das. It's actually dasu, but this spell is das. And uh, it um, it means something like uh, well, there's there are more meanings. It's uh, to put, to bring, and uh, uh, to take. Actually, I don't write everything of that up. Sorry. And um, yeah. And uh, there's a whole lot more you can use, like, uh, uh, for example, um, if I have the correct stroke order, I really don't think I have the correct stroke order right now. Uh, like, this is uh, Yomu. Yeah, Yomu. Uh, yomu, it means uh, to, um, uh, to suffer. Uh, to suffer. To suffer. That's not nice. No, but this is how it works in um, in the case of uh, using um, using verbs. And um, you can see the difference between uh, well, uh, yeah. And uh, the last one here is uh, you can also have more that uh, sounds like kuru. Uh, for example, uh, this thing is the this is the biggest kanji that I know about, and. Uh, and I use some, yeah, kanjis. There, and then, uru. This is kuru. Uh, and, uh, when you see here, this is a gigantic uh, uh, kanji here. Um, this is the biggest one I know. This is the smallest I know. It can't get smaller than that, actually. It's not left up there. Uh, but the thing is, it's made up by... Uh, uh, this is the kanji for thread. This, like I, th uh, I thought you earlier, is uh, goods, and also as I thought you, uh, thought you earlier, tree. So they build on each other. At start, it's like easy because they are um, they are uh, easy to write the first one. Uh, later on, they uh, they become uh, more difficult. But after you have been writing like. Uh, 100, 200 or something. I like 200, it's uh, of me. Uh, then, you see, they are just copy of each other. Uh, so, it actually get more easy than you think, by first. And, um, yeah, there's a whole lot more ways, but uh, I uh, see just one uh, one thing that I need to clarify uh, now. And uh, that's so... <laughs> The way of uh, building uh, words uh, with more than just uh, kanji itself. I like the uh, the verbs I al already thought you. So now I'm going to write the most popular kanji in all the world. Uh, there, there, there. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Mm, there. I. This means love. Itself, it's I. It means love. Yes, uh, I love. Um, 
If you say I she, she, I she, that's like giving love, I think. Like, um, we say uh, I she is like uh, you tell your kid that you love him or something, which is I she, I think. I'm not a uh, hundred percent sure, so I'm not so in this. And um, do love is I suru, suru, I suru. Actually, uh, to do to do love, yes. And um, you uh, and if you if you're going to tell something someone that you love them, you can use I she te uru I shiru. That that translates as I love you. Um, that's uh, that. This is words that uh, people mostly know, and um, there's also ways to uh, change the meaning just a bit of something, like um, this uh, this uh, kanji here. Uh, she himself means death. Self is death, right? Uh, and uh, death itself is, um, well, there, there is death itself, but death is uh, uh, shinu. Shinu, that's death. Uh, if you want to change that to something, then like uh, do, uh, like doing death, so if, if that's even a word, then this will become uh, shisuru. Shisuru, do death. Uh, but that, that that's just strange, so don't, don't do that. Uh, other thing you can uh, use is like um, uh, shinde. Uh, shinde. That's the te form. Uh, I'll teach you that later, but that actually means die. You're telling someone to die. But do not tell people to die unless you're completely stupid. Okay, and, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, you can also add tai, shi tai, it's like you want to die, that's something you want. So you can use kanji like this and add uh, hiragana for changing it. And um, yeah, you can also use um, use them other way, like if you want to see, uh, say like uh, the death god, which is uh, shinigami, and you put the kanji for god next to it, this thing here, shinigami. But if you want to romance it more, you uh, like uh, like a uh, death uh, god, like in Godling. So, for example, uh, it's uh, it's uh, Godo, uh, she Godo. <laughs> that's uh, that that's just uh, strange. But uh, that's how they uh, do it in uh, Dumas' cards, like you saw earlier here when they use uh, katakana. So now I hope I clarify a whole lot. Later I will uh, teach you general the kanjis. Uh, not everyone, just a few. Because uh, they have hiragana, but someone is like... Uh, like it, it make it easier for you to read them. But we need to uh, be finished while um, uh, flashing the uh, hiragana uh, first. Uh, and katakana, of course. Uh, before I can do this. Um, because um, I need to be sure that you can uh, read and write uh, hiragana and katakana before you do anything of this. That's actually, uh, yeah, that's actually it. I, um, yeah, I don't know how long time it's been talking, but um, it was a whole lot to talk about. And um, I'll see if I can find a better u better video editor, because then. Um, this may be the longest podcast I ever made, if you see my point. So, um, and until later, you just carry on and goodbye.